Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbback. So we are completing our last harvest here. Of course we did have the strange issue with this field not uh, growing, it wasn't actually ripening. So we had to force it to ripen and that of course put the crop inside the building. That's not a problem because what we can do when we've baled this field is then set it to cultivated and that will remove the crop from inside the building. So that should all be good. That should all be very good. I'm just going to move that combine harvester because we do need to bring the baler into here and we don't really want that sat there. Uh, we, we have to keep the combine though because we do still have the corn to do. We're going to have to use a different header. I've already returned the standard header. So not incurring any more daily or hourly fees on that, which is good. And the corn looks to be ripe actually, so we can probably move on to that at the end of this episode. We just need to deal with everything else first. Well, maybe the middle of the episode actually. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long to do the bales, but we just need to take the bales to the, uh, the cow farm. Uh, because obviously they need them for bedding and for food. Yes, yeah, so we pad out there. Feed mixed crop. I've just crashed into a fence. I think if that was real life, it would have just flattened it and we wouldn't have even felt it. It's just a, a very, very low value, low strength wooden fence. Okay, so we have the quad track just over here. We did actually buy a Zarian in the previous episode. If you missed that, check out the previous episode. It's an old Zarian, but it's still very, very nice. I think it's about 320 horsepower, roughly. So not massive, but still, it's got some decent power behind it. Or indeed in front of it, because the engine is out front. Right. Unfold this. I have... Well, apparently I've crashed, but actually I don't think it was touching anything. The collision was probably sticking out. And unlike the other fields, that we're doing this on 240. 240 centimetres. Uh, the other one was 220. So we'll get slightly more in each bale. Of course, slightly less bales in the end. Although it probably won't even be that noticeable. I very much doubt it. So, yeah, I don't know how many we'll make. Probably four. If I was to have a guess, I really don't know. Hard to say for sure. But on top of what we already have, we'll have a decent amount of bales. I would imagine that a 240 centimetre bale is about 11,000 litres of straw, which is exactly what we need for the feed mixture. It's always good when you can put one 11,000 litre bale in. Okay, yeah, so we'll do this, and then we'll get the auto stacker underway and we'll move whatever we have to the cow farm. I'm not really expecting too much. Well, not the neatest ever, but we've just got to the uh, a full bale. So we have actually made a lot more than I was expecting that. I didn't reset the counter, but we can still have a look on the statistic menu, which is just here. Ten! Wow! Ten! More than double what I thought. So it shows what I knew. But, um, yes, um, we are going to have... Let me just see. 11,000? Oh, can we not see? Oh, 9,000! Okay, so it looks like it's only 11,000 in the round bales, I guess. Um, but that's fine. So the tractor for running the auto stacker, I think it's going to have to be either the Zarian or the Fen. Where is the auto stacker? Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go and find it. That's the round one over there. Here it is. It's literally right next to the Zarian. I'm like, where is it? It's right there. I was looking at the tractors, not at the uh, machines, the implements around them. Okay, right, so yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll almost get a full load. I think the capacity of this one is 14. Yeah, it's four-wheel steer, so it's able to turn tighter than what it really should do with this on the back. Which is funny. Uh, and probably very bad in real life. But anyway, yeah, we'll get these picked up. I've blocked that route. Have I blocked this route? Yes, I've blocked this route as well. Well, we might just about squeeze through here. We do need to tidy up. 
and actually we probably already can reset the ground to soil but um, yeah we'll just make sure we've picked the bales up first I very much doubt it would delete them but it will delete straw I think loose straw yeah big fan of the Serian it's nice I'm pleased that it has been released on ModHub um, yeah we'll, we'll definitely make the most of it also I'm still considering doing live streams I was actually going to do this a while ago I actually put a Facebook post out a while ago like I think it was the 7th of February saying so I was going to be doing it in a couple of weeks but yeah things got busy again and I never actually managed to get my setup going my, my live streaming setup so yeah, I'm still planning on uh, live streaming at some point and it won't just be like a dedicated series for live streaming we'll just do the odd live stream in the middle of another series just so we can really progress it's, uh, it'd be nice to have a, a bit of a chat as well, you know, instead of me just talking to myself here and you listening, I'll actually be able to respond to questions and all that sort of stuff, which would be much more fun. But no, I do sort of enjoy doing the, uh, just just these videos, it's just can't interact as much. Right, two together here, nice. And then number nine. There we go, and number 10 is over here. So, we'll put those beacons on. So we're ready to go on the road. Should we reset the soil? Get the ground? I think we will. Yeah. So, yeah, let's, um, let's go into the field. Set field ground. I guess it should be stubble tillage. No fertilizer. And that hopefully, we're going to have to do the uh, landscaping, which I'll do probably in a time lapse. It'll only, actually only take about a minute. So the time lapse will be about five seconds. <laughs> but yeah, we just need to put the gravel back in here and put the grass bank back in. But as you can see, all the crop has now disappeared from inside the building. So that's better, that's way better. Okay, into the Zarian. And we will be on our way. And don't worry, I'm just going to jump cut this. We've seen this journey many times before. I can't remember exactly how many we have. We have three there, which are about to get hit. Uh, no, we'll, we'll get them into the feed mix soon, uh, possibly today. But yeah, we've got a decent amount over there. We've got enough to get through winter, because the reason I, I can say that confidently is because we do still have loads as bedding. And if we didn't have that bedding, yeah, 45,000, um, yeah, that would be a different story, because to actually do that, it takes 100,000 litres which is quite amazing. But they do still have almost half. And it's taken a few months, I think, to get to that. So they will have spawned over there. Yep, there we go. Looking good. And this is rented, but I'm wondering if we should keep hold of it. Because we are going to do corn, and we do have the ability to bale corn stalks. You don't get many bales, but you do still get some. So I think it's probably worth doing that. Should we take it back or should we keep it here for now? Uh, let me just see the food. Okay, yes, they do need food. So, the fen is over there. We are going to harvest corn stalks today, but we're not going to get onto moving bales. We might get onto baling, but it, I, well, I don't know, actually, we might do, yeah. Yeah, it might do. We'll have to see. But 22,000 litres isn't that much for the amount of cows that we have. They do get through that very, very quickly. So what we'll do is we'll drop a bale in. Actually, it's one and a half for the straw now because these are smaller ones. And then we'll put two hay bales in and fill it to the top of the silage. Looks like we're actually getting low on hay. We will have one more cut from that field though, the grass field. So we'll have to make sure we do that. If I'm not mistaken, we can harvest corn up until the end of November. Hopefully we can. Uh, corn. Where is corn? Where is corn? There it is. Yep. November. So that's fine. We can start the corn today and then we'll have to mow that grass field at some point. Right, what I want to do actually is drop the top one in. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm just going to do this the sensible way. Put one in first. go. Yeah, so we'll produce a load more hay before winter. 
it's fine. Oh, good grief, it's gone. Get out, get out. Well, that didn't go... No, I didn't go. I'm going to have to fish it out fast, because otherwise we're going to completely mess up. Out, get out. Yes, yeah, so we're going to completely mess it up otherwise. It took nearly all of it. Good grief. Oh, that's probably gone pear-shaped. We'll have to see. Well, a bit of entertainment for you there. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll put one on top of the other. And then we'll pick up two. Yes, it makes it hard when you can't just drop a whole bale in. When we're trying to do one and a half, it makes it really tricky. The hay, and finally the silage. We've got lots of silage over here. I was just going to do the one mixer load today. At some point, we'll completely fill their trough. Because we really do need to get that combine rolling. Yeah, looks to be a lot of straw in there. Yeah, so it has messed it up. It is over. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have to go and load some of it. They will actually still eat this. It's not a massive problem. But they'll only eat it after they've eaten their totem extraction. So when they run out, they'll take it. So yeah, it's not a waste. We'll just empty some out and then we can put more silage in. And that should allow us to balance it out quite nicely. Yeah, I knew exactly how much to put in. It's just I dropped the stupid thing. <laughs> Which is never good. Never good when you drop it. Okay, so we just need to make sure we take enough out here. Uh, let's see here. We'll, we'll do 75. We'll leave it at 75%. We'll put more silage in. Hopefully that's going to be enough to balance it out. Should be. Yeah, it really should be. If we do another 25% of the overall capacity of silage, that's going to be quite significant. We're waiting for it to change colour. It should change colour hopefully on this, yeah it will, on this next load. There we go, we have total mixed ration, hooray! So yeah, despite that we do still have 100%, 45,000 litres to add to it. And I've got no steering, it's too heavy, maybe I should have put it on the Zerian after all. There we go. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Cows will be enjoying that. We probably won't quite get it into the green. But at least it's in the amber. There we go. So they have... 67, but yeah, when they run out of that, it will take the hay. It's just considered hay, which is a total waste. Okay. So, we will, we will take, we, yeah, we'll take that um, order stacker back soon, but let's just get that combine going. As for the header which we're going to fit to this, it's going to be under corn headers. I'm pretty sure we do have a class one that we can go with. Um, probably that one. Is that? It might run that, you know. It might do. Uh, Four thousand pounds. Not too expensive. Let's risk it. Let's get down to the store, and we'll try and harvest with this one. It'll be good. Hoping we can fold this one up. Is it not a fold-up one? Ah, uh, maybe it's not. Are we going to have to go with a different head of trailer? Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll just quickly do a power test. I think it's going to run it fine. But it's always worth checking. We'll get the uh, header trailer in a second. Once we know. Yep. Okay. It's going to run it fine. Brilliant. What an amazing combine. So, um, yeah. What I'll probably do then is go back into the corn category, find that header, combinations, and there it is. I know it's the wrong colour, but it, it really doesn't matter for this. 
Is it just the one cornfield we have? I can't remember. Maybe it is. For some reason I thought it was two, but yeah, probably it's just one. Yeah, it's just the one. Interesting. Well, what I'll do is I'll get it taken over to the field. We will indeed put it onto swath, so we will produce some bales out of these corn stalks, but really not that many at all. And I guess those should be the ones which are used for bedding. That could have gone better. But then, yeah, they're going to get mixed up. Because they just get converted into generic straw. There's nothing special about the corn ones when you produce them, when you actually bale them up. Don't want to speak too soon, but I haven't actually hit the fence yet. It is quite tight going through here with big machines. But there is our field. Brilliant. Lovely cornfield. And I probably don't have much space to fit the header. We'll do it in somebody else's field. <laughs> we'll have the worst neighbours ever. Okay. Yeah, there's no crop destruction in other people's fields, so it's fine. It's like they instantly forgive us. Lift. Okay. You're bringing the trailer with us. How interesting. I guess that's because it's the wrong combine. It's uh, not lifting high enough. Well, after some persuasion, we are now ready to engage the PTOs and start the harvest. Are we on shop? Yep. No, we're on uh, swath. Brilliant. Okay. Good. Uh, this is actually the sugar beet field. Always looks completely different when you put a tall crop in it. And actually, with a header of this size, it won't actually take that long. I'm wondering if we should still put it on a worker though, once I've done the headlands, because we need to get the trailer here. And well we need to we do need to bring the baler in as well, but the baling is not gonna take very long. Um, yes, it definitely helps having the wider header. And it also puts a bit more straw into each swath, because there's hardly any straw in each swath because it is corn stalks. Okay, well, let's go for a lap or two, probably just one lap actually, I think one lap will be sufficient and then we'll see if the worker is capable of taking over, hopefully they are. that on a worker but we are getting very close now to full I think I will just take the Zarian back and we can put the trailer onto here that would be good, yeah that would be good right, so it is getting darker, we should probably slow down time a bit actually, we've got lots to do we have more wool we will get that taken to the spinnery soon right, so there's my trailer So we can turn quite well with this trailer on. It's just the auto stacker for some reason. Uh, we can't really turn very tightly with this tractor. Oh, maybe it's because this is, uh, yeah, the axles steer on this trailer, I think. Do they? I thought they did. <laughs> maybe they don't. Okay, well, we'll have a look when it goes around this tight corner. Yeah, they do. So it's sort of pulling itself around, I guess. Maybe it's along the draw bar as well. The combine is full. So I think, yeah, we will bring the baler in. Why not? We might as well. Fantastic Zarian. Not the fastest tractor in the world, but it doesn't really need to be. So we'll move that when we come round with the quad track won't hit that fence again
This will be interesting. I really don't know how quickly it's going to produce a bale. Because I know the straw from the corn is just so sparse. Yeah, not very quickly. Okay then, well we'll keep an eye on the combine, we'll unload it when necessary. And we'll produce some bales. I have no idea how many. Oh, what we'll do is we'll reset the counter actually. There we go. So we know exactly how many we have produced from this one field. worker has done most of it, obviously it got confused here. I think he just thought it had finished because it went all the way up there. So we will do this, it looks like just up and then down and then we're done and then we'll just bail that. And how many bales do we actually have? Is it three? Four? Because yeah, you've got to count the ones which have been produced in the baler. I think there's probably two in the baler which have been counted. So maybe it's registering five. Let's see if we can make six. To be honest, I wasn't really expecting to do quite so much today. The corn has been fast, really fast. But when you've got a worker going and I'm doing the baling at the same time, yeah, it's always going to be fast. And this corn is going into the dryer, so we'll be producing dried corn, not just selling generic corn. Nobody wants generic corn. Yeah, two fields would have been ideal, but obviously we just have the one. Wow, the braking isn't very good when it has this big header on. And there we go. So, the final pass. Come on, combine. Oh, I think I stopped the cruise control. I thought it was lacking power. Right, so yeah, 90%, very good. Yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be very close to a full trailer. And whilst that is unloading, we will get the baling finished off. Put a bit more in at the back. Make it look a bit more even. Right, quad track, off we go. Yes, is it registering three? It is, yeah. That makes sense. I need to return the combine. It's been good. I do like that combine a lot. Okay, yeah, so that clears the way for. What was that, 100%? Oh, where is it? 93%. Still very good. We'll get this last bell produced, if we can do Hopefully we do have enough. We've got a few bits here and there we, we can go and uh, pick up. Uh, sadly, I don't think we're going to get the final bale. We will do eventually, but just not today. So, yeah. It looks like the total is going to be five, I think. 
I think so. Yeah. Still, five bales, that's not bad. But it does go to show how the corn stalks are not really that good if you're trying to get a lot of straw. Right, into the dryer. Oh no, it is still hitting. It's better. Very heavy. Of course, this is not a good trailer to use for unloading into here. We have to do it in stages, because otherwise it goes through the roof. It actually will go through the roof. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a pain. The side tip ones seem to be the best for this. Or oh, actually, no, the walking floor. Yeah, walking floor is the best. But we've just got to use what we've got, I suppose. I was hoping it was going to achieve a bit more than that. Okay, so we'll just let it come down again. And we will... Oh no, 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 no. Yes, that. Almost. Yeah, really close. Oh no. No. Oh no. There's no spare capacity for the rest of it. Well, we'll get that activated. Yeah, we're just going to have to... What we'll do then is we'll just... I want to open this today. Pass a bit of time. There we go. That should do. And then... We're at the trigger now. Now it should take it. Hooray. Good. So, dry corn is also full. We better get that out of there. That's from before. I, I actually have missed that. Uh, not too sure when the best time is for selling, but hopefully soon. The pipe is inside. So, just here. see the dryer is emptying. Or did it actually... Hang on, no, wait. It actually did that in that time. It's dried our corn that fast. Looks like most of all we have here actually is what we just put in. Wow. Okay. Um, interesting. That was so fast. Right, so... Dried corn. Where are you, dried corn? Best time is June, and I guess January-ish. So we've got a little wait, because we're down here. We, we couldn't actually be worse. So this is indeed a good place to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.